This video is going to be about your battery options for an e-bike either if you purchased an electric Brompton or if you are building one yourself. Every piece reviewed in this video is going to be based on lithium ion technology. There are some other emerging technologies as well but for the most part currently as of early 2025 lithium ion is still the technology that rules the market this is the battery that i have so i'm going to be focusing on this technology let me start out by looking at the brompton electric i know a lot of people have purchased it this bicycle is a little over four thousand dollars if you want just a four speed version you can get it for about $300 less but in my opinion there is no point because why would you not get a wider range of gears for just an extra $300 it's totally worth it it's less than an extra 10% this is a seriously underpowered setup but this is a folding bike the idea is definitely not to focus on performance but to keep the weight light and to just provide enough support for you to take an uphill easier to not break a sweat and so on and for the urban commute it is more or less adequate obviously in my case i ride something that has no wattage or speed limitations on it i can go as fast as the battery and the motor are able to provide i have a 48 volt system if you want in-depth information about my system or how i built it it's in the book and the book can certainly help you build something very similar or even just to take those ideas with a completely different frame and build something different using the same methodology so the one thing that interested me about the brompton is what if i want to replace that battery it's a four thousand dollar bicycle and check this out not surprisingly the battery is out of stock and even if it was in stock it's eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars is a lot of money to pay for a battery that's not much bigger than half of what i have and i paid less than four hundred dollars for mine it's an eight and a half ampere hour battery how much of a range can you get out of something like this maybe 30 miles on a good day some people have gotten more out of it but that's as a result of using very very low amount of support from the battery this battery is actually engineered and built in germany if you look at the company's website they do sell e-bikes as well they have batteries that are very specific there's no easy way to adapt any of them to a bicycle you are building so this is definitely not a DIY company, but something similar to what I have. The price is not bad. It's under $400, almost the same money I paid. And they have other batteries as well. Some of them really expensive, even if they are not too big. They definitely look the part. It, this seems like a responsible company. The reliability of these batteries on the Brompton so far has been reasonably good. If anybody has any comments, having owned a stock Brompton Electric, feel free to add those comments. We are very curious. But this battery is really only good if you have a Brompton. Can you order a Brompton battery pack directly from Germany? I have no idea. And also the tariffs are uncertain at this point. This is the battery I have. This is made by a company called EM3EV not the easiest name to remember but the quality is good i think the assembly is done in china the battery was shipped to me from china but the people you are dealing with are english-speaking people so i don't know if they are highly educated chinese or somebody running the company from the us or Britain. the cells inside the battery are in my case panasonic cells they are using high quality brand name cells instead of the no name chinese variety which is always a risk to get this is very close to what my battery was here is the receipt that i had from 2017 when i purchased mine 
as you can see, the battery was really not that expensive. It was $320 to get 12 and a half ampere hours. I also bought a charger and good chargers can be pricey. So this was an extra 20% compared to the price of the battery. And then of course there was shipping. If I bought this battery today, there might be an extra tariff. The shipping itself might be more expensive. I really don't know. You have to check with them. But this is the first time that you are getting excellent customer support. EM3 EV is right on the dot. If you contact them via email, they will get back to you. At least that is my experience. I once needed a new wire because French dog that I take care of here and there managed to chew the charging wire. And luckily I was able to contact the company and get this wire from them and they moved on it very quickly. So I have only good experience with them. I bought the battery in 2017. It's 2025 right now. So it lasted for a pretty long time and I can still crank 30, even 40 miles out of it if I'm careful. But when it was new, that was even better than that. Another company you could consider buying a battery from would be Grin. Grin sold me the original Brompton kit, the high performance kit that I still have on my bike, although it has been modified and overclocked and tuned and all that. They do sell their own batteries. And based on the quality of everything else I have bought from this company, they are probably reliable products. In fact, the cells are, when I was able to check, high quality brand name cells. But you can see the prices. Prices are not cheap. 15 and a half. But let's see a specific example. This is a specific example of one of the down to batteries. This is just a little bit bigger than what I have. Instead of 12 and a half, 14 and a half, it's 48 volts. That's exactly what I would be using. And the price is $555. So it has gone up significantly. It's much more expensive than the one I have. Now, I don't know if they assemble the battery in Canada or in China. But even if in Canada, it would cost you quite a bit of money if there is a tariff on it. I don't know if the tariff is included in this price or you would have to add it on as you are ordering it. Who knows? If you want something cheaper, but that means abandoning brand name battery product. So you're not buying a Samsung, Bosch, Panasonic or Tesla unit, but you're buying some either no name or obscure Chinese brand, such as this Heilong brand. And this would be a close up of what they sell. 13 and a half, certainly much less money than what I would be paying either for a green or for the EM3 EV battery. But you'll find that if you try to contact them, there's no quick or easy customer support. And when I search for warranty information, there's not much product warranty for warranty information about this product. Please click here. And then what do you get? You get nothing. Purchasing this kind of a battery is always going to be a risk. It's made in China. Probably the cells, everything is made in China. Believe it or not, even first world Samsung, Panasonic and similar batteries are often made in China, but under the supervision and quality control of well-established companies. So you get better quality, just like with the Apple computer, it's made in China, but there is good quality control. Unfortunately, I don't have much confidence getting the battery from an old Chinese company that's not located in the first world country, may not have the same reliability as a Bosch or a Samsung, Panasonic, and so on. Now, if you want to build your own battery, that's also an option. This is actually the Samsung SDI, which is the most advanced one they have. It's a little bit ba bigger than other similar product from other companies, and the capacity is increased. But it is pricey. You would have to put them together you would have to purchase a battery management system, which is not very expensive, but you would have to put it together. You would have to wrap it in plastic and 
I don't know about the charger. On final analysis, when I studied this, it seemed that you are not saving much money by building your own battery pack. The only benefit is that you can build any shape you want. You can build a custom shape that is more aerodynamic. Instead of putting it into, say, the front bag of a Brompton, you would be able to create something that might go right on top of the tube. So if you have a tube bag for a Brompton, you would be able to build something that fits right in, which is not possible to purchase on the market. If I went back to replacing or augmenting the battery I currently have, I would probably choose EM3 EV or go to Grin and get something from them. But I do appreciate the excellent customer service that I get from these companies, which is probably not even available from Brompton unless you go down to the junction. Maybe you could get some help there if you live in New York or in a big city where they even have a junction store. If you don't, then it's, it's not going to be an easy game. So for something reliable that is adaptable to most projects, these two companies, EM3 EV and Grin, are probably the best choices, especially if you bought the kit from either of them. This is it about batteries. I'm curious about your opinions. Have you built anything? Have you tried to replace the Brompton battery? By the way, it's possible that you could swap out an old Brompton battery and put back something different. But as you can see, the shape may not fit the bag. So you would have to either relocate the battery or end up with part of the battery sticking out of the bag because of the unique shape of the battery. And this is the big problem about buying ready-made e-bikes from anybody. Everything is custom. The computer is integrated into the battery. So they have set up everything to make sure that you cannot easily hack the system. You want a new battery, you're gonna to have to go through Brompton and pay through the nose, and you may even have to wait to get this. This is it for the current video. Make sure to check out the links below. I provide links to all of this stuff, and like, subscribe, share, and... I'll be back.